love you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is nia and i typically post videos every thursday about crafting lifestyle and traveling when i get the chance to do so and today you guys i'm actually kind of excited for this video only because i just love to shop if you already saw the title of this video you know that we are going to do some last minute christmas shopping because part of me forgot that christmas is like less than a week away and the other part of me was kind of like not going to see everybody on Christmas, but then everyone was like, oh, so when I see you on Christmas, and I'm like, dang, now I gotta get a gift. <laughs> so all that to say, I have some last minute Christmas shopping to do, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, you guys, so, so sorry for the poor lighting. I just got done eating with my friends and I just got to the mall. Ah, my light is going out. Um, I just got to the mall. I am going into Nordstrom's because I do have a curbside pickup to pick up. But then I'm also going to search around while I'm here. It is about 7 o'clock and the mall does close in about two hours. So I have to do this like mad dash to find about like nine different gifts, you guys. So hopefully we find some things together. <laughs> Let's get going. like the second half of the video so i'm gonna be honest with you guys shopping was a lot like it was very overwhelming last minute shopping i even went to target which i didn't record for you guys just because target was worse than the mall like everybody and their mama was in target it was crazy and i just my brain was just like i just need to get in get out and i'm not recording a thing so I do apologize for not recording that, but I will go ahead and do a haul of like some of the combinations of like things that I chose to get in order to make some like last minute ideas kind of like mesh and work well for like the people I needed to gift. Um, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys what I chose to get my students. All right, you guys. So for my students, and I feel like I'm making so much noise, <laughs> but for my students, I chose to put together like a winter activity pack or a winter break activity pack. So in my district, we don't really like only focus on one holiday, like even like our party um, before the uh, the winter break isn't like a winter party. It's a or sorry, it isn't a Christmas party. It's a winter party. So I figured that their gift that I would give them will be kind of like a winter break activity pack. Like that was kind of like my thought process. And just for our friends, I do teach four year old pre-K. So my students are a little bit into some other things than maybe like a middle schooler would be. So this is what I chose to get my kids. Um, so I hit up the Target dollar spot and I got them these building links or these building blocks. Um, it says four plus, so it was like right in that age range. 
um but they like to like connect and like use legos and things like that in my classroom so i thought that would be great i also hit up the target dollar spot and i got them some of this kinetic sand which this kinetic sand i'm i'm actually excited about because it's supposed to smell it's a silly scent one and my kids love stuff that smells so i got them those two things but i also last minute made an amazon order which what i got was able to get here enough time i will be honest though not everything is still available at um like to be here on time from Amazon. So I'm gonna show y'all. I went and got it is called a scratch note. Um, which basically is can you guys see that? It's basically like that black um notepad or black like notepad paper. Um, and what you do is you take like that wooden piece, like right there. Um, and you use it like to write and like scratch and it makes like rainbow. Keeping with the same theme of school um, or of people for school, I'm going to go to first my classroom aid and then some of my co-workers, what I chose to get them. So my classroom aid is actually like her religion does not celebrate Christmas. However, like my religion does. Um, and so my thought was to get her like a a thank you gift basically like for surviving like the first half of the year with us because pre-k can get a little crazy you guys <laughs> so um i'm gifting her like a thank you gift around the same time as everyone else is exchanging gifts just because she's really been there committed and she's amazing and not that i have to explain why she deserves a gift but that to say i'm going to get her like a thank you gift and not like a christmas gift so what i chose to get her you guys was this blanket which this blanket sorry i'm trying to get the glare out this blanket i actually got from um what is it aldi i got it from aldi the brand is called um huntington home huntington home i can read i promise um and it's just like a cable knit throw blanket and it's like i don't know if you guys can see but it's like that super soft like um, like knit oh my gosh like it feels amazing so I did go ahead and just like get her like this blanket which I thought was like perfect it's winter time it's starting to get cold like what well, already has been getting cold but so I did get her this and then you guys after I left them all like I said I did go to Target Target right now is actually having a really good sale on their opal house candles this is the brand you guys can see that there you go opal house candles right now these candles are only seven dollars for their 15 ounces which is actually better than the bath and body works still um so i just kind of like got her this combination and i was like so excited just because i felt like this is like the perfect gift like the absolute perfect gift to get her right now this time of year so i'm excited hopefully she likes it hopefully she accepts it like it's not meant to be a Christmas gift. It's really just meant to be like, thank you so much. Um, so I did get her like a thank you card like to go with it. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully she likes it. Hopefully she accepts it. And she knows like, you know, it's not Christmas. It's a thank you. So there's that. But moving on to the next people, I did go ahead and get my coworkers a few things. So I'm going to show you what I got them. All right, so I went to Bath and Body Works, you guys, for my coworkers. Um, so I ended up getting um, these little baggies, which these weren't from Bath and Body Works, but I did want to show you because I just thought, like, how freaking adorable are these? Um, it was a four pit for three ninety nine, so basically like a dollar a bag, which at this point is even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So that was definitely a good deal. So I did get them that, and I did choose to get each and every one of them like a small little candle, which I think I'm going to put it on its side, and it's going to fit right. Actually, it'll fit right in it standing straight up as well um but that's it super simple um but i will tell you what scents i chose to get so this is the vanilla and i think it's pronounced patrolli or patchouli i don't know correct me if i'm wrong if someone has the phonetic spelling 
drop it down in the comments. Um, I don't want to jack this up, but this smells absolutely divine if you don't have it. Um, the girl at the Bath & Body Works that I went to, she told me that they were actually discontinuing it. I personally love the way it smells. So if you have it, um, if you still have it available, I would rack up because it's getting discontinued. Um, I also chose to get the lavender and cedarwood. Um, and then lastly, the other one or the last one I got is the stress relief eucalyptus and tea scent. All three of these I would absolutely recommend. I think they smell divine. Um, and I was really like intentional with getting them like the aromatherapy candles just because we're teachers. Like we all need a brain break, okay? Um, so I got them that. Just got them a candle. Um, the deal right now at Bath & Body Works is two for 22. So it's like $11 per candle, which like I said, is more expensive than the Target candles that I got. And it's not as big of a candle, but whatever i went to bath and body works before i went to target so it's all good i'm not all that worried about it so as far as work people students things like that they're all done that's what i got i kept things super simple um for everyone again it's last minute so i will say like any tips if anyone else is like a last minute shopper like i am Keep it simple. I tend to try to do the most and be really dramatic and get all these cool things. The best advice I can give you, which was the best advice to myself, keep it simple. Get one little thing, get a cute little card, get them a candy cane and a piece of candy. So I'm like, you know, keep things so simple. And speaking of simplicity, I'm going to show you something else that um, is super simple. Again, this is something that most people do anyway. But just in case, like, you're new to, like, this gift-giving thing, like, let's just say you just now got your first big girl or big boy job, and you're now finally able to, like, give back to, like, the older people, like, in your family, and you want to do this, hopefully, like, this last-minute Christmas gift video will help you out. One thing that I swear by, like, one thing that always works, if this is something that that person indulges in, is going to be alcohol <laughs> let me tell you something alcohol is like everybody is going to use it now i will say this my mother is one person who doesn't consume alcohol so you have to kind of like know the person to know if that's going to make sense for them um and one of the people who i did get this for uh for isn't like a huge like wine consumer however they are huge entertainers like they always have things going on at their house and so if nothing else like I got you a bottle to entertain other people. So that's one less thing you have to buy when you entertain. You get what I'm saying? So something that's kind of like thoughtful for you. You know what I mean? So um, I chose to get, now I like sweet wine. So I typically buy people what I like. Most people who I am like in contact with and the people who I bought for, they also do sweet wines. So this is like my sweet wine recommendation. Dry wines, that's not really my vibe. Um, So I can't really give advice on that. But if you have a good one, drop it down in the comments let everyone else who's watching this video know to kind of help them out. But I have found that I very much love Rieslings. So I got the Pacific Rim brand, their sweet Riesling. Now this is a new world wine. It's made in Washington state. I absolutely love it. It's the perfect amount of sweet. It's not too crazy. Um, it doesn't taste like I'm drinking juice. You know, like I like it. So I uh, chose to go ahead and gift two bottles of the, these actually. And so um, if when in doubt, go ahead and get them a decent bottle of wine and that wine bottle was under $15 which that's a really great idea in my personal opinion um another thing that I will say that I did choose to like pair with the wine I chose to go ahead and pair chocolate with it wine and chocolate you guys like yeah I don't know I will say it is kind of giving like Valentine's Day vibes like wine and chocolate but these are not people who I typically gift on Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I think it's acceptable. And, again, if you don't like it, put it out when you have an event. Or take it with you to a, a New Year's Eve party. Something. Like, you don't have to consume it. But, again, if it's one less thing that you have to worry about, again, where I'm from, 
when you go to somebody's house, you bring something. Even if you don't like the chocolate, here, here's one thing. Let's pass it on. Let's all indulge. Whatever. Like, it's all about the thought, you guys. Hopefully, they like it. I don't know too many people that turn down alcohol um, or at least accept it so that way they can entertain. But that's either here nor there. So, yeah. That's another, like I said, keeping it simple, last minute idea, a nice box of chocolate and some wine. Good combination for the adults in your life. All right, you guys. So another thing that I did want to show you that I ended up getting. Now, I didn't get this from the mall or even from Target. I went to TJ Maxx, like I said, to get some of those bags for my coworkers. And I ended up like just kind of like roaming around. If you don't know, T uh, TJ Maxx, like Ross, Marshalls, those are like always my jam and they should be your jam too um especially because they have like these random gems that just like help you out so long story short i'm saying all that to say i came across this game now i thought that this would be perfect for like the young boy in your life who's like a gamer so on my mind i would say anywhere from i don't know maybe like age eight to like maybe like 12 or 13 maybe get this thing i thought it was perfect if it's acceptable in that child's family so what i chose to get was this arcade uh hover shot which i thought was so freaking cool like i want to buy it or i want to play with it as you guys can see, guys can see the price point is right there it was only 20 dollars, y'all this thing is so flipping cool. Basically what it is, it's an electric um, base, right? And so it has like, this is the best description. It has like all these little, actually let me turn it around. It'll give you a better view. <laughs> so it has like, this is what like the machine looks like. And as you can see, it has like all these little tubes that like once you turn it on, air goes through it because it's a fan in here. And all these balls kind of like hover above. And what you do is you use this Nerf gun and you got to shoot it out of the air. Uh, Yeah, for like that little gamer boy, absolutely. Now... I come from a family who doesn't typically like do like even like water guns or things like that. So definitely check to make sure like that that parent is okay with it. But I thought that it was like such a cute little thing that like it's probably going to entertain them a couple of times. They'll be pretty excited about and it only cost me $20. So if you have like a game in your life, one of those kids who are like always on their Switch or always on their Xbox or PlayStation, you want to get them into like a different type of game, um, something that's not like bothering their eyes like from the screen, maybe invest in something like that. Check around your TJ Maxx's, your Marshall's, your Home Goods, your Ross's. You might be able to find something really quick and inexpensively. All right, you guys. So the last stop, I went to Lush. Um, and these are for like those girlies like in your life who I would say is like, I don't know. I feel like Lush can be anyone. Like maybe I would say teenager to even like. I don't know, mid-30s, maybe. I don't know. I can be making up that range. But what I would say is, is that Lush pretty much has something for everyone. It helps train, like, your young girls to kind of, like, take care of their body. And it helps remind, like, the older girls to take care of their body. And if you list, watch my video last week, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I was explaining to you guys, like, for those girlies who are, like, in my age bracket, which... For reference, I am 28. And so for those girls who are like in my age range, get them something that is going to help them take care of their body because we are working, we are doing all the such things. Um, we're mommies or whatever, and we need to take care of our body. But if you can get a preteen or a teenager to kind of get in a routine of taking care of your body by finding things that are like pamper or Again, helping remind us older girls, why not, right? So I'm going to show you what I did choose to get. And I'm trying to find it. Ah, here we go. So as you guys saw in the clip, I did go to Lush and I got the girly. I'm there who helped me. She was absolutely amazing. And she introduced me to this lip scrub. Now, all their lip scrubs, you scrub your lip with it. And then you can lick it right off. It's like basically edible um and so the one or the flavor that i absolutely loved um was the coconut ice and that's the one that she loved this well she recommended it to me i thought it was amazing so i did end up getting this um for a girly who was like kind of again like in my age uh range but what i did choose to get with it which of course now i'm looking for it <laughs> 
Um, what I did choose to get with it was a cute little lip gloss as well. So I figured, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get you like the lip scrub. And then I'll get you like a little cute like lip gloss. And that's like a perfect combination. And to be honest, who wouldn't want this? Like, I, I would like this little gift. Something small, cute. And I feel like, I don't know if she has this or has a lip scrub. So it's something that might, like, expose her to something else, something new. And I just got done talking about that in my last video. So... All that to say, you guys, check out some of those stores. Um, go to the mall because it has so many different options. Go to your Target because you're finding um, things there. But also go to those stores like your Ross, your TJ Maxx, and things of that nature because you find like a lot of hidden gems and they're really, really good for just like quick things to grab real quick. Without further ado, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I will hope to see you guys next Thursday. Please come back next Thursday so you can see what I have in store for you for the last video of the year. And I'll catch you then. Peace.